Well, like obviously uh, playing out here today at Stanford Bridge, coming kind of against Mo Salah, and a pretty good, I say, fair, fair result in the end, maybe a draw, but a great game to watch. Yeah, obviously this is everything I've worked for my whole life, my whole career, from being a little boy watching the games. Um, it's been amazing. Uh, it's a blessing to be able to come here, and especially to play against such a good team like Liverpool. I think the first half was obviously a tough half. It was on us early, um, but we held our own in the second half. We could have won the game. Um, we take the point and we move on to next Sunday. Do you feel like the yourself and the team just improved the longer the game went on? You seemed really comfortable in the second half coming out the back with the ball and like you said, you had some good chances on the break especially later yeah, on. Yeah, exactly that. Um, it took us a while to get into the game, I would say. And once it did click, second half, I think uh, we played very well. We had loads of chances to score and then another day, we got two goals, two goals up. Um, three at the back, I mean, not something that you've done much in pre-season at all. Like, yeah. That was a bit of a surprise for us all. How did it go, do you think? Oh, um, it was it was good. Like I said, at the start of the game, it took us a while to catch on to. But the second half, we started working. Um, you know, when if Salah jumped to press the Argo, oh, I was free man. And it worked like that. And um, yeah, Gaffer, good decision from the Gaffer, I think. How, Sorry, go ahead, mate. Uh, how did it feel sort of to play at Stamford Bridge and have that positive atmosphere behind you? Yeah, it was amazing. Like, when you hear them... We hear all the fans going crazy, it's best for you never. Um, like I said, from being a little kid and being part of the fans and shouting, being on the pitch and listening to it, it's amazing. Did it feel like the right decision as well that you renewed? And, and... Of course, of course. Like I said before, it's always been my first choice. Um, it's my club, I've been at for how many years? I love this club. Playing it today was just amazing. And does it almost prove as well in Mauricio Pochettino's football that you're picking up the ideas because you've proven it now in a tough competitive match? Yeah, of course. You know, he's a world-class manager and you can see there how we played today. Um, it's been a big step up from last season. Um, so on to the next game and hopefully we keep keep improving as a team and yeah. start winning games. And you've kind of shown that it's a different Chelsea this season. It's not like last season. It's going to be different. 100%. It's, we've got young, hungry players. Everyone's got a point to prove. So it's going to be an exciting season. And you're good enough as well at this level to, to make a difference? Hopefully, that's it. Hopefully, with all the players we've got, they can make a difference and we've got players that can score and also do well at the other end of the pitch. So I think it'll be a good mix. I'm excited. Can I ask you about uh, Poch as well? Like, obviously, you grew up in Southampton. Can you remember when he was manager there and first yeah, came over? And... I had a conversation with him about it um, when I was younger. To be fair, they're playing great football at Southampton team. We've got to give it to them. And I'm not a big fan of Southampton, even though I'm from there. So, um, yeah, I've had a conversation about it. And it was... A good conversation with him. Excellent. What's he been like just to kind Amazing. of help settle in? Amazing. Um, I don't think I could ask for anyone better. He's such a good man manager. Um, just having normal conversations with me and making me feel like a player. Um, and, uh, sorry, a person, not just a player. Mm. Um, and I think, yeah, he's been amazing. Yeah, he's such a good guy and I think it means the most. And obviously, finally, we said today, as you got better as the game went on as a team, what, what does this season kind of hold in store for you? Have you got the targets and sights and just to keep improving as the season goes on? What can't we do? What yeah. can't we do? As simple as that. I think everyone needs to believe in that. We all need confidence to go into every game thinking we can win. And we'll see at the end of the season what happens. Probably. Thanks, mate. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.